Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here at East Thorns, we work hard to establish an effective, supportive, culturally relevant learning environment that fosters social, emotional, academic success. Today for lunch we have a chicken tenders on a roll, pizza, or a PBJ lunch bag with cream potatoes, broccoli, cheese salad, and fruit. Happy birthday to Wes Green, Zakaria Wright, and happy early birthday to Caden Clark. We have baseball against Jeff Davis and band percussion auditions. Go Falcons! Do you like Friday nights? How about Friday Night Lights? Then you might want to check out the ELHS Color Guard Team. Trials will be April 25th to 29th, 3.30 to 5 p.m. There's a sign-up sheet in the front office. Please bring your talent and a smile. See you there. Also, for Color Guard, there's a $90 deposit required due that week. However, it will be refunded if you do not make the team. And if you have any questions, see Mrs. Kelly Jones. For today's club news, any 9th through 11th grade student interested in running for the East Orange High School Student Council representative may pick up an application by Mrs. Horn's door, room 123. The completed form is due by Friday, April 29th, no later than 3 o'clock. Qualifications include, you must have an overall average of 70 or higher. You may not have been suspended this past school year. You must be willing to attend school events and promote a positive school environment and you may not have missed more than 10 days of school this school year. If you're interested in representing your class as president, vice president, or secretary, or interested in running for the student body president or vice president, pick up a packet and start planning your campaign. Campaigning starts May 2nd, and elections will be held on May 6th. See Mrs. Horn if you have any questions. It is that time of the year to select FCCLA officers for the 2022-2023 school term. The available offices are President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Reporter. Any students in grades 9th through 11th grade may see Ms. Rizzo for an application and for further details regarding the officer positions. The deadline to return the completed FCCLA application to Ms. Rizzo is Monday, April 25th. Perry Ellis International is needing forklift operators. On-site training will be provided. Benefits include 401k benefits and health benefits. Pay is $15 an hour for day shift and $16 an hour for night shift. Ghost Drive is looking for a dynamic, energetic summer intern who is eager to learn about our company by assisting various departments. You will be working closely with our team to conduct research, capture data, and attend meetings where you will be asked to take minutes. To be successful as an intern, you should be willing to help with any task assigned by a supervisor. You will be involved in upcoming projects as well as assisting with current campaigns. If you are interested in this position, please give a resume to Mrs. Clardy in room 202 by Monday, May 2nd. This is a paid position. For today's teacher announcements, seniors listed below is the required attire for graduation. Please see Mrs. Morris for any questions. So for girls, you must wear a black or navy blue dress with black clothes toe flat shoes. Boys must wear black pants, a black dress shoes, white collar shirts, and a black tie. There will be a senior meeting on April 29th at 11 a.m. in the Commons area. Dual enrollment and work-based students, please make arrangements to be here to hear important information. There is a senior scholarship available in Ms. Morris's room. Please stop by room 117 for an application. The scholarship is due no later than April 29th. That's all for our news today. It's a great day to be a Falcon. Woo!